Hey, y'all, y'all know what this is. I am Dean. I am your host, and this is By Any Means. Hit that cash app, dollar sign. Y'all see it right there. Hit that cash app. It's much appreciated. I don't care if you send a dollar. I don't care if you send 50 cents. I'm cool with whatever you send. I really appreciate it. Blue Bud out here lying again, y'all. And this is a pattern with you content creators. And I'm calling everybody out that don't be consistent, that don't say what they got to say, that just not keeping it real. Y'all out here lying again. Blue Blood, who reported that Devin Haney number, pay-per-view numbers? Who reported that, sir? Because you're out here saying it's reported. But when I go on Google, I can't find one credible source that has the numbers on what Regis and Devin did. But you do, huh? Did Eddie Hearn say that? Because I watched the interview with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn said he's hoping, he's estimating that it did what Lomachenko fight did. So why are you out here lying, talking like it's a fact that he did these numbers? Why are you out here lying, talking about it's reported? I'm not even mad at the numbers because it could have possibly done that. But why are you lying about it being reported? No, it's not reported, sir. It's not reported nowhere but on your channel. Or it's people on Twitter that's saying it did 300 and 350,000 pay-per-view buys. Is they reporting it because somebody said it on Twitter? If everybody go to your, your phone right now, type in Devin Haney versus Regis pay-per-view numbers. You won't be able to, to find anything. You'll find clickbait websites. That's about it. But you won't find no real website that people follow in boxing that's reporting that. Not one. Then I want you to do another thing, y'all. Type in Gervonta Davis pay-per-view numbers. Then it'll be 25 articles on the shit. As soon as it pop, as soon as you type it in, it'll pop up. Gervonta Davis did 1.2, 1.4 million versus Ryan Garcia. So why are y'all out here lying? You'll know why. Because y'all pushing narratives. Wait till the actual numbers do get reported, then report on it. Don't say what it did and say that it's being reported that this is what it did. Reported by who? Where can we go find this at? You see how much y'all lie? You see how much y'all lie as if I don't have Google myself, sir? You see how much y'all lie? Who reported this? And then you say 150 to 250. You understand that's 100,000 difference. That's basically half of the pay-per-view numbers right there that you're not even sure if it did or not. If you take away, let's say he did 250,000 pay-per-view buys, right? Take 100,000 of that away, y'all. What is that? 150,000. That's a massive difference. That's a massive difference. I want everybody to type in your calculator 100,000 times 75 or times, let's even go, let's go on the lower end. Let's say you do had a DAZN, um subscription. Let's type in 100,000 times 60. Yeah, we're talking big money. Big money difference in the two. But y'all want to run with narratives. I thought 250,000 and 150,000 pay-per-views wasn't like that. Ain't y'all the same people that told me that Javante wasn't doing numbers like that prior to Ryan Garcia? Y'all was down playing Javante Davis' numbers prior to Ryan Garcia, correct? Yeah, I know you was, because all of y'all are on panels, and I could go back and easily re 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 rewind this. So don't lie. Javante wasn't doing numbers like that. You know what numbers like that mean, what you was trying to say? He wasn't doing major numbers. But y'all up and joy if, if Devin Haney does, at most, 250,000 pay-per-view buys. You mean Javante Davis' minimum? You mean Gervonta Davis minimum pay-per-view buys. Y'all excited about? 150,000, he did that already against Lomachenko. It changes nothing. It actually just proves, the, actually it proves my point even more. Y'all understand that 1.2 and 1.4 million is a 200,000 difference. It's not do what Tank did. You got to exceed Tank. Y'all say he's better. You got to exceed Tank, not do what he did. Y'all understand that 1.2 and 1.4 is the 200,000 difference. That's what y'all saying Devin Haney sold. 
So that means that Javante Davis, at minimum, sold a million more pay-per-views than Devin Haney. Do y'all know how many people a million people is? Do y'all understand how many people that is? Do y'all understand there are cities that don't have a million people in it? Major cities that don't have a million people in it. There ain't a major city across America that ain't got 250,000 people in it. Why are y'all lying? Report it when it's actually reported. You can't say, well, damn, you just mad he sold. How am I mad he sold pay-per-view numbers when at his minimum is what y'all say Tank do? Was I mad when Tank sold 250000 Was I mad when Devin Haney sold 150000 with Lomachenko? How can I be mad when I'm one of the people that purchased it? How can I be mad when I'm one of the people that helped push the pay-per-views? Both of his last fights. Hmm. So before you get in my comments, I need you to think about that because I know half of y'all that claim that like Devin didn't even press buy. I guarantee y'all didn't. Y'all understand it's 100,000 difference between 250,000 and 150,000. That's how I know you capping. You don't even have the number. Eddie Hearn said he estimates it does this. That means he don't even know yet. But you know, Blue Blood, the same way you didn't know the same way you knew that you offered to fight the Jerron Ennis but didn't know who to get in contact with for Jerron Ennis, you calls his dad and don't call Showtime? So are you, uh, were, were, you, were you not credible then or are you not credible now? I need to know. Because you said you called Boozy Ennis. When everybody knows if you want to set up a fight with a fighter, you don't call a trainers. You call the promoter. You call the network. You don't call the fighter. The fighter is not putting up the money. The fighter ain't who you got to negotiate with first. You know how we all know that that's true? Because Bob Arum said he's not making a fight with Javante Davis unless he comes over to where Bob Arum and them is at. So it don't matter what Shakur Stevenson says. You could talk to Shakur Stevens until you're blue in, your, blue in the face. It's not going to get the fight done, though. You see how I tell facts and y'all sit up there and talk about what is reported when I can't find one report on it? Not one credible report on it? Y'all keep coming out here capping. I'm going to keep making videos like this. So like it, love it, tell them shut up. And then let's say it did do. At most, 250,000. I'm going to give Devin the most. 250,000. That's not more than um, Earl Spence sold with Mikey Garcia. So is 250,000 pay-per-views great or is not? Because when it was Javante Davis, y'all was trying to say that that's not great. He wasn't doing numbers like that. That's what y'all said, not me. I never tried to play his pay-per-view numbers. That's what y'all did. You know, the Devin Haney fans, that's what y'all did. Tank wasn't selling like that before, Ryan. Selling like that means that you're trying to say that his pay-per-view numbers weren't great prior to Ryan Garcia. But if Devin Haney does those same exact numbers, it's amazing. I thought y'all said he was a superstar. I thought y'all said he better than Tank. I thought y'all said y'all want the fight. Doing what you did against Lomachenko is not going to make nobody rush to make the fight or not make the fight. If that was the case, it would have already happened. And y'all want me to believe that Regis is a bigger star than Lomachenko? Y'all want me to believe that. And then y'all talk about, well, he sold out. Y'all know he sold out with tickets that was $60. I looked it up. So before you sit up there and lie, he sold it out with tickets that was $60. That was the cheapest tickets you can get. Javante Davis fight, the cheapest ticket you could get was $750. And they sold out too. So I need all you brainiacs to do, do me a little math right now. 750000 divided by 60. It really costs 75 because I know a lot of people don't got the zone. But I'm going to give you benefit of the doubt and say that you do have the zone. I'm going to give you benefit of the doubt and say that you do have the zone. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you benefit of the doubt that you do have the zone. 750. Divided by 60. 
Do y'all understand that you could have bought 12 Devin Haney tickets, almost 13 Devin Haney tickets for the price of one Javante Davis ticket versus Ryan Garcia? Do y'all understand that? So to try to compare the two, there is no comparison. That's my point. There's still no comparison. If he did 150 or 250, it's still none of that has exceeded what Tank is did. Y'all said 250,000 ain't that good. I heard a bunch of y'all when we was on Knockout Channel saying that 250, Tank wasn't selling like that. Tank ain't wasn't no big star prior, but Devin Haney sells 250,000. He's a big star now. And that's at most because let Blue Blood tell it, it's between 250,000 and 150. So that means it's not even 250,000. So I need to know now, y'all, before you get in my comments, is 250,000, 150,000 pay-per-view buys good or not? Is that good or not? I need y'all to think about that. I need these people to stop lying out here. Stop lying. Stop lying. You don't got no reports because I can't go on Google and find it nowhere. I heard you. Did you get that from Eddie Hearn? I heard Eddie Hearn say he's estimating. He's hopeful. Do y'all know what estimating and hopefulness means? That means you're not sure. You're hoping. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. This is Dean by any means. Keep capping. And I'm going to keep making videos. Keep capping. And I'm going to keep making videos. I couldn't even give Devin Haney his credit. Y'all are not Devin Haney fans. You know why I know that? Because I guarantee that this video get more views than the, the video that I made positive about Devin Haney. Y'all not Devin Haney fans. Because if you was, you'll be clicking on those videos more. You'll be clicking on those videos more. Yes, you would. I keep telling y'all. Y'all not Devin Haney fans. Y'all Javante Davis haters. And I've already proven it on my own channel. People that claim to be Devin Haney fans did not click that video. People that claim to be Devin Haney fans, when I talked about him and his dominant performance right after the fight, made a video about it, about him, just him, and how great he was and how much he's has impressed me with how he fought last night. I was disappointed in the knockout, but I was still impressed by him. Y'all didn't click that, that video a lot. But when I say Bill's a liar and Devin's a liar, y'all click that. Y'all click that. Y'all did. Y'all know what this is. Dean, by any means. And I holler.